Simply food. You should know by now that you're in for a treat. Simply food. There's no other channel where you'd rather be. Simply food. Seafood, pasta, cakes, and pies. Sing and laugh and even cry. Like and share and hit subscribe. Simply food by TY. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Simply Food by T.Y. First things first, Happy New Year's to you all. I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my video queso tacos inspired by Simply Mama Cooks. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to get our peppers together. So what I have here are three wild chilies. I have one ancho chili and one pasilla chili. So what you see me doing right now is de-seeding them. Now, this is very important because you do not, I repeat, you do not want to make this puree with all of those seeds because it would be completely unbearable to eat. Now, what I'm also doing is getting this ready so that we can bring some hydration back to these chilies. As you can see, they are very, very dried out, so we need to hydrate them. So I'm going to remove the seeds from all of these peppers because once again, you just don't want that. Even if you are a person that really like enjoys spice, I would not keep the seeds in from these particular peppers. If you want, you could also maybe add in the scotch bonnet. I didn't do that, but hey, the option is there. It's kind of whatever you want to do. But I would definitely make sure that you remove all of these seeds. Also, just so you guys know, I got all of these peppers off of Amazon, um, and there was a lot in each of the packs. So if you're wondering where you can get them, that's where you can get them from. Um, now, I'm going to be just you know, slightly pre-rinsing all of them off just to make sure you know that I got a majority of all of those seeds out because again, I just, ain't nobody got time for that. I wanna make sure that people can eat these <laughs> and enjoy them. So I'm just pre-rinsing them off just to get rid of all the um, excess seeds. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover it with, I would say about one and a half to two cups of water. Um, this is just to get out the bitter taste. Once again, this recipe is inspired by Simply Mama Cooks, and that was one of the tips that she said for this particular recipe. Now, I'm going to be using a chuck roast. Uh, these are beef video tacos. These are not goat. Uh, a lot of people eat them at, with goat. I personally don't eat goat, so I'm going to be using beef today. And I'm just going to slightly brown it on each side. Um... You know, just to kind of get that cooking process started. Go on ahead and have your oven preheated at 325 degrees, by the way. So I have about six to seven large cloves of garlic. You can always add in more. You can add less. Um, you know, it's completely up to you. Uh, give that a really, really good mince because we're going to be adding that to the dish as well as some onions as well. Um, now, as y'all know, I say this all the time in every single video that I do. I am not the biggest onion fan. However, I'm starting to learn that I might be like, onions low-key might be kind of growing on me. Um, but this is one large sweet onion here. I'm just giving it a rough chop because we're just going to throw all of that on top of the meat in a moment. But before we do that, let's go ahead and get this puree done. So what I did was I added those peppers, like I said, with about one and a half to two cups of water. I put it on the stove and I let it simmer. Once it came up to about a raging boil, I put the top on it and I just let it steep in the water for 15 minutes, okay? You're going to drain all of that water off and then you'll have your hydrated peppers. I'm adding it to a blender here. This is a Vitamix. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in some fresh water, okay? Once again, you want to dump off all the water that was already there and add in some fresh water. So I'm going to add in about two cups, and I also added in two of those chipotle peppers. Now, what you didn't see me add to that were the seasonings. I added in one and a half tablespoons of seasonal salt, and then a tablespoon of garlic powder, onion powder, as well as one pack of sasson, and also... um. What else did I add? I added in just a little bit of cayenne pepper, but not too much. You know what I mean? So now I've added in the onions, the garlic, and now I'm just pouring the sauce 
right over the top. You guys, there's not, I mean, there's not really much to this. Um, I'm adding in about one and a half tablespoons of Mexican oregano. I'm also going to be adding in some thyme as well. Once again, for the oregano, I also found that on Amazon. Um, I'm adding in two bay leaves. Uh, let's see, what else am I about to throw in here? Sometimes, you guys, I don't even remember what I'd be putting in this stuff. Um, I'm adding in the thyme right now, which would I would say would be about a teaspoon. Um, now, for these next ingredients, don't go overboard, y'all. Okay, don't, don't do too much. Now, I put in one-fourth of a teaspoon of cinnamon, and I'm also going to put in one-fourth of a teaspoon of nutmeg. Don't go crazy and do too much. As you can see, I'm adding in a nice rounded tablespoon, about a tablespoon and a half of the Better Than Bouillon beef base. It's going to add a real nice kick of flavor. And now I'm going to add in about two and a half to three cups of water. Of course, this will depend on how much you're making, but you pretty much just want to make sure that you have enough liquid to really um, make sure that it's completely covered, okay? Because that liquid is really going to come in handy a little bit later on. You're going to put the top on that, bake that at 325, okay? Okay, for three and a half hours, 325. At the three and a half hour mark, you can remove the lid and let it cook for an additional hour with the lid off. Okay, so that's four and a half hours total is what I let this cook for. It's going to completely fall apart. And trust me, you, when I open this lid up, you're going to see what I'm talking about. I mean, just look at how beautiful that looks, baby. These tacos were everything. Now, as you can see, that meat is just completely falling apart. And that's exactly what you want. And of course, you guys, you know, you can also make this in a crock pot. I mean, like I said, this is one of those type of dishes where your family is going to be so impressed that you made it because of the final outcome. But just know, you don't have to put a lot of work into making these tacos. For You really don't. I mean, they're really so simple to make, but very, very delicious. Now we're going to add all all of that shredded meat back into our beautiful stock that we have here, which by the way, we are going to be putting a little bit of that to the side so that we can dip our corn um, tortillas in so that we get that really beautiful color that, um, you know, is such a staple when it comes to these type of tacos. You know, just give that a mix around, shred it up, chop it up, do what you want, do what you gotta do. Um, but that's it as far as the meat. Like the meat is, the meat is done. I, I know I'm saying that's it as if it only took 10 minutes to cook, but just know you can do this in the crock pot, set it, cook it, do your thing, live your life, and then come back and then you know the meat is done. So now let's build them. So what I'm doing is I'm adding in a little bit of our beautiful broth here. I'm gonna be using white corn tortillas just because I tried to do these with the yellow ones. I don't know if it was the brand or what the case was, but they just did not turn out the way I wanted them to. And also what I noticed is to me, they turned out the best when I made them in my cast iron skillet because they really fried up nicely you do not want them to get soggy that's the thing the first time i made these they got really soggy and i was like this is not the move so i'm adding in some uh shredded mozzarella cheese here i'm also going to add in our beef and pretty much you guys that's kind of it i mean there isn't really much <laughs> to making this recipe it really isn't of course for those of you that don't want cheese of course you don't have to put the cheese but i would definitely say make sure that that meat is nice and shredded and for those of you that really pay attention to details yes this video was filmed in two different places the beginning of the video i was filming in a completely different kitchen okay and then the next day i came home and then i was like okay now i need to do this so yes two different kitchens but as you can see folded it over you want to let it brown on both sides till it gets nice and crispy add a little bit more of that liquid on the top so it can really soak in there because why not and i mean that's that's really it you guys um as you can see, I put a lot of that beautiful stock into a little separate bowl. I added some cilantro and onions to it so that you can really dip it in there and soak it up. I'm also going to add some onions and cilantro to the actual um, tacos as well. Of course, you don't have to do that because not everybody is a big fan of onions. Like when I eat mine, my personal ones, I don't put the onions in there because, you know, that's just not my thing. But look, I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this recipe. Once again, I am so grateful that you guys are a part of my channel and I'll see y'all soon. Bye.
Slaying in the kitchen. Simply Food by T.Y. We hope that you enjoyed it. Simply Food by T.Y. If you haven't took the time, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching Simply Food.